Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it, guys. We had a, a second beer mail package from uh, from Neil, and uh, we're going to jump right into it, guys. Neil, thanks a bunch, my brother. I do appreciate two back-to-back -back beer mail packages that quick, but the beer reviews continue, guys. So uh, thanks to Neil for that. So this one is from Lake Pleasant Brewing Company, and. Uh, Lake Pleasant Brewing Company out of Phoenix, Arizona. This is their jalapeno lime tie. And uh, what this is, guys, is a, uh, a Goza style sour ale brewed with real jalapenos. So, unless you're a jalapeno fan, which I am, uh, and limes, eh, not so much of that. I do use it in cooking sometimes, lemon juice, lime juice and stuff. Uh, this beer takes you through a journey of jalapeno aromas to bright limes and finish with a good salty backbone that is perfect for any hot day or meal. So this would probably be, uh, like a, again, if you don't like you know, jalapenos, now I don't know how warm this is going to be. Uh, jalapenos aren't really that warm to me. Uh, I can eat them, you know, without having anything put on them. I can saute them up just like peppers and stuff and and, and have them with a the meal. So, uh, But once you start getting into Carolina Reapers and, and ghost peppers, uh, it's a little bit hotter. So, But anyway, uh, and this is not a big beer, guys. It's 4.6% and Neil says it's a cower. Cower. Kettle Sour Goza, 4.6%, no canned on date, and he paid $5.29 for it. So, being that low of an ABV, kind of needs to have the date on it, because this beer is not going to keep probably for a long time. It's not hoppy, but it's not got a lot of alcohol to make it just keep. But I mean, it's probably going to keep six months to a year, uh, but I wouldn't want to drink something that's 4% that's 10 years old. Uh, Unless it had been refrigerated that whole time. <laughs> uh, okay. Goes to beers, usually low alcohol, uh, little salty, uh, sea salt, uh, depending on what they've used to make it with. This one they've used jalapenos and lime, so we should get some of that anyway. And this uh, brewery, Lake Pleasant Brewing, evidently is pretty small. Uh, it's not even listed, the brewery is listed on uh, Beer Advocate, but this beer is not. Uh, not having the date, I don't know how long it's been out. Uh, but they only have 13 active beers according to Beer Advocate, and I don't know how accurate that is. But that's a very small tap list, or, or, or uh, uh, should I say, amount of beers available. And there's no retired beer, so all 13 are available. So, yeah, evidently there's 14 because they don't have this one. So I don't know how many they don't have listed, God, but I kind of think it's either a fairly new brewery and or still a fairly young, small brewery. But anyway, they probably don't have a dating machine. They're so small yet. So anyway, let's get on with this. I don't want it to be a 30 minute video guys. This is jalapeno lime time stuff. So, no IBUs are given. Ooh, very, very light color. Almost look like water coming out for a second. Alright, swirly swirl. Don't think there's going to be any, any kind of any sediment in here. I would pretty much bet it's filtered beer if they've got if they use real jalapenos and stuff, they gotta get that stuff out of there somehow, I guess. Mm -hmm. Finger and a half of head, guys. I can see light though. It's got a slight haze to it. But uh, still, you know, for a low AB session beer, pool beer, good pool beer, beach beer, uh, 
probably will work. Hmm? Let's find out. To the nose we go. A little bit of limes in there. Not getting a whole lot of jalapenos on the nose though, guys. A little bit of citrusy notes. And that's about it. I mean, let's find out. Let's dive in. I'm curious to see what they've got uh, on a jalapeno lime for a very young brewery to venture out into something like this instead of making a lager and, and some IPAs and stuff like that to jump right into a, cow, a kettle sour. Uh, unless that was their specialty before they went big time. Maybe the home brewer uh, like this style of beer. That's the job in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Neil. Little jalapeno in there. The lime's definitely in there. Almost tart. Salty. Little lime. Slight jalapeno. It works. That's tasty. I like it. Very light for my palate at 4.6%. Mm. Easy sipper if you like jalapenos and limes. Uh, seems to work though. The jalapenos are overpowering, but the the lime is, I would probably say the lime is just as potent as the jalapenos are on this. Now, just enough tartness to make it work. So, there we go, guys. Very unique level, a lot of country flags in here. Hop cones on the back side of the can in green on the black label stands out. Very nice. Well, right interesting. Isn't that special? Alright guys, I'm gonna go step on. Let's see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back with something on in about an hour. If you like jalapenos and lime, you will like this. It works guys. I mean it's definitely unique and different. Uh, but you can taste the slight heat from the jalapenos and you can taste the lime. Uh, I didn't think it would work well together, but it's for a goza beer. It's pretty, pretty good. I mean, not something that I would probably purchase for myself because it's a 4.6 percent, and I don't buy those low ABV beers. But uh, for somebody who wants a session, you know, something like this, uh, it's a good pool, beach, lawnmower beer. Uh, if you want to come in and have something refreshing and not be too inebriated. And that's not a derogatory term, lawnmower beer, low ABV beer, very sessionable, very quaffable, quit your thirst. Final chug. If you were having something with jalapeno, some kind of poppers or, or uh, some kind of Mexican dish with hot peppers and jalapenos and stuff in it, tacos, nachos, whatever, would go good with that. I mean, it really would. It would match up very, very well with something like that. But anyway, guys, to me, I think it's well made. Other than not having the date on it, which you won't get to 10 anyway, but I think it's tasty. Uh, I think it's a solid beer. It does what it says it's going to do. It's going to give you some lime and jalapenos, and that's what I got. Basically, that's all I got with lime and jalapenos and both saltiness there. But it is what it says it is, guys. 90 for me. Uh, it's worthy of that. And it would probably have got a little bit better than that if it had a date on it. So, uh, not listed over on Beer Advocate and Untapped has it at 4.11. That's in their bottom end of their A category also. But only 113 people have. Uh, posted ratings on untapped and like I said it's not even listed over on beer advocate so I don't know when it came out if I was guessing I would say it's probably a month or two old uh, but I don't know 
then we don't know because it's not written anywhere. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks again to Neil for sending this to me, guys. And we're going to continue on. If you've had jalapeno lime time, I'd be surprised if anybody has. But there may be somebody out there that actually has this beer. Uh, that lives in the vicinity of this brewery because I'm pretty sure it's not got a big distribution footprint. But if you've had it, let me know. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the brewery.